You might remember about three or four weeks ago, I planted two rows of beans, or a row of beans, half yellow, half green, right behind me, and uh, they came up and I was so excited and I had that lovely shot of the little bean seedling, but by the next week, all the little beans had rotted, except for one that's still growing. So I'm going to start a bean experiment in which I plant some beans again in the ground, in the garden, and I plant some beans in these tubs that I got for a dollar each. So let's get started with the experiment. Very exciting. Okay, here I am. We're gonna start with the bucket beans and I have two varieties that I'm gonna be doing and four buckets. So in the first two, I will be putting these little uh, golden wax improved. These, I'll put a couple of seeds in. And then in the second two, I will be putting in these which are a green bean, a Landreth's stringless green pod. And these are actually, these ones, it's a little bit better in the garden than the other ones, but hopefully that they'll all do well eventually. So we've got these ones. Um, and so I got these buckets at the dollar store for a dollar and I drilled little holes in the bottom so they would have drainage. And now I'm just gonna fill them up with a mixture of peat moss, um, mushroom compost, which I found at Home Depot, and um, manure. Oh, and I'm also gonna put on this pea and bean booster. It says, grow more beans and peas. It's a soil inoculant, um, increases crop yield and improves plant growth. Oh yeah, it has nitrogen fixing bacteria which I know that peas are a nitrogen fixing um, thing and beans are as well. So I don't know why you need extra stuff. Maybe it's just to get it started. I don't know, but you live and you learn and you try to make beans a thing in your garden. And if none of these works, I guess we were not meant to have beans except for the one little plant that's still growing. Let's just dump some in here, fill it up. Now, I don't know if these are the ways you should be doing any of this. I just am experimenting because that's what I do. I am a scientist, literally a scientist. There might be a little bit too many uh, variations in this experiment to be, have it be a real scientific experiment, but um, it should be fine. Right, Cub? Cubby is here. He's helping out as he always does. Okay, let's start with the yellow beans first. Let's put some of this on. Actually, no, we'll put the seeds in and then we'll sprinkle this guy on top of them. Um, I think we'll just do four little holes towards the middle. And just put a seed in each hole. And I'll sprinkle a little bit of this on each seed. Then we'll cover them lightly with some more compost. Like that. There, we've got one done, which of course we need to mark. Garden. Bean, golden wax. And this is, what is today's date? June 10th, I think it is. Let's throw that guy in here. 
and then I'll give them all a good water. So I'll do the rest of the buckets off camera. Right now I'll show you how I'm gonna sow them in the garden. Okay, so this is the area where I'll be planting the two short rows of beans. Um, this is where the tansy plant used to be. First I'm gonna improve the soil a little bit with that same mix of cow manure, peat moss, and compost. So let me just dump all this in here. And then dig it in. And now I'll just rake it over to make sure it's even. Now I'm just gonna make little trenches my two rows are gonna be. That looks good. Now I'll just drop the beans in. I'm just planting them about an inch apart. And now I'll follow up with a little bit of bean booster. And then just cover everything up. And there we have it, two rows of beans. So that is the beginning of this bean experiment. Um, hopefully these seedlings will be up within seven to 14 days, um, which I guess works out with the time play, so the, my timetable. I would have liked the beans to be in earlier, which is why I you know, sowed them originally three weeks ago. But you do what you can with a garden that is filled with creatures that are living, right? So um, that's it for this video. And um, I'm probably going to put up another garden tour video at the beginning of the week. So uh, I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.